What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Ads content targeting. So some different ways that we can target our ads across the Google Display Network onto some different websites, some ways that we can target different topics, how we can run our ads across YouTube as well. So I'm going to show you some different ways that you can actually target content with your display ads and with your video ads. So let's come back over here to Google Ads and let's create a new campaign and we're going to click the new campaign button. And now the first thing you want to do when you're setting up a campaign is set up your objective. Now if you watch enough of my videos, you know that I tend to always use the sales or leads objectives. There's very few other times that I change to one of the other objectives. So let's just say we want to drive sales with this campaign and we're going to use our purchases conversion goal. So we have our conversion goal, we want to drive sales, we're going to click on continue and let's say we want to create a display campaign. So a display campaign, we can run different kinds of ads across the web. So we're going to run display. You can enter your website here and we can name our campaign. I'm not actually going to launch this campaign. We're just using this to show some of the different content targeting options. So first things first, when you're setting up your campaign is you want to set up your location targeting and your language targeting. So I'm not going to adjust these for this individual campaign, but as you start going through the process, you're going to get to targeting. So you're going to set your budget and bidding, and then you're going to get to targeting. So we're just going to click on targeting. And one of the things it's going to say is optimized targeting helps you get more conversions by using information such as your landing page and assets. So they're going to use our advertisements. They're going to use all the information they have about exactly what we're promoting to try to find people that will also be likely to convert for us and will be interested in our offer. So we're going to have optimized targeting set up. So what we can do here is click on ad targeting. So when we click on ad targeting, you're going to see the five different options it gives us right now. So audience segments, I'm not going to be going through that in this video because that's specifically audience targeting. Demographics, so that's going to be people based on age, gender, parental status, or household income. So the three different options here as far as content targeting are keywords, topics, and placements. Now before we get started going over any of these three, what I want to show you real quick is if you look at Google Ads, they're going to say until your account is migrated. So they're working on further improvements as far as content targeting. And my account has not been migrated yet. But once your account is migrated, you can start using different types of content targeting. But if you're setting this up right now, right as I have published this video in the following weeks, and your account has not been migrated yet, where you see topics, placements, and display video keywords consolidated into a single content page and report, so what we want to do right now is we're going to choose one type of content targeting method, but I'm going to go through all three of them just so you have an understanding of how they work. So if we come back over to our display campaign, let's start with keywords. So if we click on keywords, it's going to say suggest terms related to your products or services to target relevant websites. So the example I'm going to be using today is let's just say I have some type of investing product. So I want people to sign up for my investing website whether it's a trading platform, whatever it might be. We'll just say I have some type of investing product that I want to sell. So I want to reach people as they're on websites related to investing, trading, anything related to that. So I'm just going to use a very broad example here, investing.com. If you come to a website like investing.com, you can see right here, this is a Google display ad. So if we keep scrolling down, over here is another Google display ad. So these are all targeted in different ways and they may not necessarily be using content targeting, but what you need to know is that if you do come into your display campaign and you're trying to target based on keywords to target relevant websites, if I enter my product or service, we just say investing, it's going to pull up a bunch of different keywords. Now these are contextual keywords, so people aren't actively typing these in. These keywords actually match the content that is on this investing.com website. Now, one thing to keep in mind is within investing.com, you might see different types of stocks related to automobiles. So what might end up happening as you are running a keyword contextual campaign, or if you're targeting investing.com through your placement targeting, you might end up on some of these different pages as well. So you're not just targeting the homepage, you're targeting every page they have. And as you get into topic targeting, and as you get into some of these different types of targeting, for example, Let's say I come down here to topics. So I choose topics and I end up doing autos and vehicles. Now this page right here, that is a down Dow Jones automobiles and parts fund. This page may end up with our advertisement. You can see there's an automobile ad right here. So just keep that in mind as you are 
running your display advertising or video campaigns and you are targeting content, you may end up on a website like investing.com, but ultimately what you wanna make sure is that the pages that you're targeting are actually relevant to what people are looking up. So let's come back over to our display campaign. We're gonna to collapse topics real quick and we're gonna come back up here to keywords. So what you wanna do is suggest terms related to the products or services that you are promoting. So if we use investing, let's just say I enter all these different keywords here. So any keyword that is about investing, I wanna make sure I'm targeting it. So what you wanna do is add all of these relevant keywords in here. And then what you can do is also add different types of keywords. So maybe I wanna do trading. You can see right now it's saying I have 490 million available impressions based on my targeting and settings. So as we add more and more keywords, so I enter trading here, as we add more keywords, our impressions should increase. So we'll just keep adding more keywords here and we'll see what our impressions end up as. Okay, so we added a bunch of keywords. Our impressions went up to 560 million impressions. So what you wanna do is keep adding relevant keywords here. You could basically take your SEO keyword list and copy and paste it right here. And you're gonna end up targeting a lot of different websites, videos, YouTube channels that are all relevant to these keywords. So keep that in mind as you are using keywords for your targeting. So if you're targeting content, it's gonna find keywords that are relevant to the content where your ads are being shown. So let's collapse keywords real quick and let's just come over here to topics and we're just gonna look at impressions and I'm gonna show you what happens when we come in here and we click on one of these targeted topics. So let's say I come down here to finance. Now going through all these topics, you can see a lot of the main topics you would expect to see, sports, science, pets and animals, home and garden, law and government, there's business. So you can easily find your topic in here and if not, you can always search at the very top. So you can search something like investing or whatever it is that you're promoting. So we're gonna come down here. So we're gonna come to finance and let's just say we do investing. So if we click on that topic, along with our contextual keywords, you're gonna see we're gonna lose impressions. So that's why you really don't wanna combine keywords, topics, and placements. So we'll come down here to targeting. You can see placements suggesting websites, videos, or apps where you'd like to show your ads. So you're gonna see a bunch of different placement ideas here as you search your word, phrase, URL, or video ID. So what you would wanna do is kind of come up with what you would rather try to target. Do you wanna target contextual keywords that will match different types of websites? Do you wanna target some different broad topics? So let's just say if we come in here to keywords and we remove all of these keywords, we click on done, and now we have zero targeted keywords, we're just targeting this investing topic, you're gonna see 10 billion plus impressions. So if you're targeting topics, they are gonna be very broad and you're gonna end up on a lot of different web pages, apps, and videos, and they're not gonna be highly ultra relevant to your keywords all the time. You may end up on some different websites, videos that aren't ultra relevant to the topic. So just keep in mind when you're using topic targeting, it is gonna be more broad. The way I look at it is with placement targeting, so we're gonna clear our topic targeting now, click on done, and let's come over here to placements and let's just say I wanna search investing. So I'm gonna to try to find some different websites, YouTube channels, different things related to investing. Okay, so this found 462 websites, 1,000 plus YouTube channels, 1,000 plus YouTube videos, 499 apps, and one app categories. So let's say I wanna target apps, come to the Apple App Store, business and investing. So if we just choose this app category, it's saying your campaign will get few or no impressions because your targeting is too narrow. So what you need to do with placements is we come back over here, let's go to websites. So investing.com, first one right here. So let's say I wanna target this website with my advertisements. I wanna drive people back to my website to take advantage of whatever investing product it is that I'm selling them. So we'll come back over here to our Google Ads account and we're gonna click on investing.com. We'll come down, we'll click on some of these different websites. Now what you're gonna see is some of these, like this is saying site-wide, multiple locations tradinghours.com, stock exchange tools, multiple locations. So sometimes you're gonna be targeting the entire website and other times you're gonna be targeting specific pages or categories on the website. But what you can see just by targeting these three websites is showing 830 million available impressions. So there's plenty of available impressions here if we do use placement targeting. Now, my main, the main way that I generally target is audience targeting. So I don't use a lot of different content targeting anymore. But if I were to do it, I would recommend using placements because it gives you the most control over where your ads are actually being shown, especially if you have plenty of volume like this. 
So if you're looking at all these different websites, you can also go to each individual website just to make sure that they're going to be relevant for your advertisements. Because even if you enter investing here, you're going to have some websites here that maybe don't match up with your brand and maybe aren't ultra relevant to what you're trying to promote. But what we can do is we'll click on a bunch of these websites. We'll pretend I went to all of them and I understand exactly uh, what each website is. They all do look pretty relevant. So, okay, so we have 11 selected websites here. I would load more and continue to add more and more websites. You can also search here trading platforms, investing news. So you can try to find some of these different options as far as placements and enter different keywords. Now let's come back over here and let's look at YouTube channels. So under YouTube channels, this is where you may have to go to each of these individual channels and make sure they're going to be relevant for your advertisements. Now, if you're running just display advertising, where your ad may show is, let's say a video like this, Investing 101, Should You Invest in IPOs? Right over here on the right-hand side, Free Options Strategy Guide. So this is actually a very good advertisement because if somebody's watching this video, they may be interested in this advertisement. So if you're targeting individual YouTube videos or if you're targeting YouTube channels, with channels, you're going to be targeting every single video on the channel that is monetized. If you're just targeting this video, then obviously it's just going to run for this video. And if you're running a video advertisement, depending on the format, your ad will either run before, during, or after the video. So your ad may show in different ways depending on the type of advertisement you're using, but this is really how you can actually choose where your ads are showing. If you're using things like audience targeting or if you're using topic targeting, even if you're using keywords targeting, you don't have a ton of control over where your ads end up showing up. But with this, you can actually choose some of these different YouTube channels. You can choose some of these different websites. You can choose individual YouTube videos. So this one right here, 2.39 million views, Warren Buffett investing video. So I could say I want to target this one as well. Now, another thing to keep in mind, if you do lose these weekly estimates, as you launch your campaign, if you don't have enough volume when you're using targeted placements, you can always go into your campaign and add more placements. What I would recommend doing is starting with at least 50, unless there's just a small set of websites that you really want to target with your ads. But keep in mind, it might be difficult to get on some of these websites. For example, investing.com, a cost per click from a website like investing.com may be upwards of two or $3 and it may not be worth targeting some of these different websites because you may have to bid much higher than you expect and your ads may never show on them, especially if you're set up for conversion campaigns because what Google Ads is gonna do, especially if you're using optimized targeting like we have here, is they're gonna try to get more conversions within our budget and they're gonna try to drive as many conversions as possible while keeping our cost per conversion as low as possible because Google Ads wants us to spend more and more money with Google Ads so it makes sense for them to want us to have the best performance as well. So that's pretty much how content targeting works. What you can do is go through here and just use as you're creating your campaign, whether it's a video campaign or a display campaign, go through and choose either topics, choose keywords, or choose placements. So choose which type of content targeting you want to use. I would recommend placements if you want more control. If you want more volume, I would recommend topics. And then keywords is gonna be somewhere in the middle ground. And with keywords, you can actually see where your ads are being shown. So if you start using keyword targeting and your ads don't seem like they're on relevant websites, you can always adjust your targeting to either placements, topics. You can always adjust all of these within your campaign. You could also use the same exact campaign, create three separate ad groups and use some of these different types of targeting. And then what you need to do over time is just make sure each of the ad groups is getting some type of activity because you may find that the topics ad group is getting most of the clicks and impressions. So just pause that, let it run as keywords and placements for a little bit. If you're getting more data from keywords and placements, pause that one too and let the last one run for a little bit. Over time, Google ads will continue to serve whichever content targeting is performing the best for your business. Now you can also incorporate demographic targeting within your content targeting, and you could use audience segments and then narrow it by content targeting as well. So you can take an audience segment and say, I wanna target anybody who's in the market for some type of investing or trading platform. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure they're viewing topics related to investing. So you're trying to reach people as they're actually actively viewing that content who Google ads has identified in an in-market segment. Now, I would recommend keeping optimized targeting on, and then as you build your content targeting, just make sure you have enough volume to spend your daily budget. So hopefully that all makes sense as far as the different types of content targeting you have available to you. Choose one, 
or create separate ad groups and choose all three and give it a test and see what works best for you. Now, the last thing I wanna go over is, let's just say we exit this campaign, we decide we don't wanna launch this campaign, and let's say I come over here, so this is a video advertising campaign, so one thing you're gonna see on the left-hand side is content. So with content, you're gonna see topics, placements, and display and video keywords, as far as the different types of content targeting you can use, and if we click here, we can choose, select an ad group, and then once you select your ad group, you can add your topic targeting here. Again, you can search by word, phrase, or URL to try to find topics. Now let's come down here to cancel and let's look at exclusions. So with exclusions, one of the things we can do is add different types of exclusions. And if we come up to the top here, we're gonna to see topic exclusions, placement exclusions, and display and video keyword exclusions. So you can say you don't want your ads to show for certain topics, certain display and video keywords, and then for certain placements as well. You can exclude placements altogether. You can also use audience exclusions to go along with your content targeting. So if we come down here to audiences and exclusions, I can add exclusions and say, at the campaign level, I wanna make sure that somebody who has been to my website over the last 30 days doesn't see my advertisements. I only wanna focus on people who haven't been to my website. So you can incorporate exclusions into your targeting as well. Now, last but not least, the other thing you can look at for content is where your ads showed. So if you look at where your ads showed, I don't have enough data for this individual campaign. You can go in and see where your ad showed and you can actually exclude certain videos, certain YouTube channels. And what you might find is that your ads are showing on a lot of kids videos or maybe a lot of music videos, maybe things where you don't want your ads to show. Now, music videos isn't a terrible thing because you're still reaching the right audiences if your targeting is good. But what you wanna do is make sure that you're looking at where your ads have shown because sometimes your ads might be running on a bunch of kids' channels because they get a ton of views on YouTube and they're still running ads. So you can make sure that you can exclude some of those different places where your ads are shown because you don't want your ads to just be wasted on people who aren't interested in your investing platform. Now, if somebody's watching one of these different massive kids' channels that are all available on YouTube, you don't really wanna be promoting your investing offer because most people who are watching your those videos have no ability to even sign up for it. So you wanna make sure that your where your ads are showed is gonna be very relevant placements or at least placements where if somebody is on one of those websites, for example, if I have an investing platform and somebody sees my ad on some type of sports website or an unrelated news website, to me it's not the end of the world because you're focused on where that audience is going regardless of the content they're looking at. But if you're using content targeting, you're targeting topics, placements, or display video keywords, you wanna make sure that it's all gonna be relevant to your offer. So hopefully that all makes sense. And once you launch your campaign, you can continue to work your content targeting so you can increase your placements, you can add more display and video keywords. So don't feel like you're just limited by whatever you set up when you created your campaign. Test different types of content, see what works best for you. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.